Ritz released quite a while ago. I don't remember the exact date, but I mean, as you can see here, yeah, you know, it's been a minute since she's been out. And I actually wanted to use this unit and try her out whenever she first came out because I thought she would be a very cool damage dealer slash nuker. And I think around that time, other stuff was happening. I was busy, you know, the common YouTuber excuses. However, now since we know we're kind of in a down period, I actually can. Because your boy pulled her. As you see here, you know, I got her now. Um, you know, we working on the equipment loadouts, but still, we got her now. If you don't know about Ritz, her abilities are pretty attack heavy. Like we have her unique passive, which gives her 100% attack up as long as she's above 90% HP. She also has HP recovery rate of level four. This increases her HP recovery amount. And she also has a unique passive as well, which is Miasma Adaptation Level 6. This gives you art gauge up effect, a field effect, Miasma 60% up. The stages that have Miasma is stuff like Aces, for an example. So she she could be used in that if you want to use her in that but what she's mainly actually supposed to be used in is rta because in rta you can actually pick field effects but you know at the current moment there is no rta on global so we can't really try out the miasma adaptation as you see she has a art gauge up on her skill she is also able to increase light units damage by 20 percent for 50 seconds and this thing stacks by the way if you want to spam this art for a bit and then she has of course her true art which is a 44,000 percent light damage magic and then you increase all allies crit rate and your own crit damage by 100%. As for the equip steps you're going to be wanting to run on this character, you got a few options. For the five star magic, if you're nuking, I can recommend stuff like Ultra Relic. I almost had to give you some art gauge plus the magic damage up. If you need more BE, you could use something like X marks the spot, or you could also use Victor's true weapon if you're running a mono light nuke. And finally, you can also use something like true exceed Zex to give yourself art gauge and also give yourself arts damage. Of course, there are other things you can use stuff like Karama whip as well. Now, if you're going with sustain, it's going to be kind of similar. You mainly look at your arch gen items, stuff like exceed Zex and Alma's hat. And I already know some of you guys are going to be asking about this true weapon and asking, is it worth it or is it not? I don't think you really need this true weapon if you don't want it for the skill just gives you more damage and then for the passive that it gives it just increases your skill ct speed and your art gauge up so the passive itself is decent but it's not super amazing there's a lot of other equips that you can use that have better effects and passives than this equip on her so you don't have to opt in for the true weapon unless you just absolutely want to as for the big juicy five star heals of course fina devil wings gonna be your go-to if you don't have the fina devil wings and you want to give some stats up to your team hey man demonic wicked glow great item as well 25 percent max hp up to the whole team great stuff and how can we forget about the ultra relic empty heart here and then if you're running a mono light setup you can always opt in for the light relic 10 game this gives your team 20 percent stats up if they're a light unit so why not use it just more stats up and then finally we got the four star support so the four star support i'm doing a little bit something different here i'm going to be running the mitsuya earring i haven't got to use it yet but this thing gives you a target single target 60 percent damage up which is pretty massive if you don't want to run this though you can run other stuff like arc ignite this is an old school one but rude megas versus also relic days volt not really too good nowadays but it does give you that nasty 20 percent damage up to the whole team so solid stuff there you know every bit of damage helps and then if you're going more sustained you know stuff like fin aloha shorts keon anything like that and you're going to be vibing fam and as for the crash going to be running run on this girl you're looking at attack up crit damage promise of the funeral god and art gauge up and as with every showcase we got to look at the animations very interested to hear what the music sounds like because her five star variation if you actually look at the name of it it's off beat ritz so here we go with the attack skill just plays her instrument and does some damage with the music here we go with the skill here oh that is a short range skill right there but i like the uh the effects like it feels very uh how do i want to put it very disney like right like a very princessy type of uh feel that you get from this like powering up thing like if you hear it right here and let's see the art real quick i don't want to say that's fire or not but it didn't sound that bad i mean it sounded pretty good but i like this art you know spinning around with the music notes they get the music in the air she's doing her thing i like it looks cool and then finally we have the true art here oh my god it's a captain sword reference i'm gonna give her a seven none of these animations really speak to me i like the aesthetic of them but I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's just been similar to this. It's actually going to be the team we're running with her. Now, this is a little bit different than the other teams that I would probably run with other characters. And I also want to use other magicians. Now, I know that not everybody on this team is a magician, like Melty and Forte. 
So let's see what happens and see how hard this girl Ritz actually hits for. Okay, here we go into the takedown battle and I did switch around some equips to maybe give Ritz some more attack because that low attack stat was kind of scaring me even with the 100% attack buff. Sometimes it's just not enough. So we did switch around some things and I think I also don't have the best loadout on because I do have a lot of attack ups right now on the team. So I think I'm double dipping a little bit too much here, but let's see what the damage is right there. And that do be kind of a lot of damage. And I'm going to say it right now. I think that was all Victoire. I think Victoire just went completely. Oh my goodness. She just went stupid right there. Let's see what the details are right here. And I'm guessing Victoire had the most damage. And oh, it wasn't. It was actually the girl Ritz. See, I am sorry. I doubted you. I was originally going to end the video with just me nuking the training battle because I was kind of disappointed with Ritz. So what I'm going to try to do now, because I was thinking about it, and I want to test it. I'm going to use her with the raid equips to give her another 500 attack. I don't know why I didn't think of this yesterday whenever I record the video. So she has plus 1000 attack. So now she's at 3600. If we had an attack up crest on her, she would be at 4000 plus. And also good news now is that since it's actually Monday, that does mean the boy should be here. Where is he at? There he is. Oldius. So we're going to go in here. We're going to fight Oldius. Beat the brakes off of him. See how well Ritz does in this department. Now, here's a scary thing, though, is that Ritz could die. And if Ritz falls below 90% HP, she's not going to hit that hard. I'm hoping this changes my opinion on her because right now, Ritz is looking pretty underwhelming to me, even though her kit is pretty solid. Just not looking the best, in my opinion. And even on this team, you know, we have crazy amounts of like magic supporting stuff happening, apart from like the how that lowers uh, magic resist. Um, but let's just see what happens. And as you see there, oof, man, that is some damage that she just took. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit that hard here um, because, yeah, she's not going to have the 100% attack up. And I don't think it's going to deal that much damage. We'll see. Show it to me. And. Okay, that, I'm, I'm going to try her on something else. Here's hoping Ritz can actually deal some damage. And maybe this is where she belongs. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe she's not supposed to just be a nuker. Maybe she's supposed to be more of a sustained damage dealer. Which, I mean, she does have some pretty good buffs in her kit. So, you know, she is able to hit some deeps here and there. Maybe. I mean, that was some pretty good damage. But who knows who that actually was. Was that all Haruto or was that Ritz? You know what I'm saying? You know, people be sleeping on Haruto's damage. But to be honest, Haruto the main dps let's see oh wow just iframes you gotta love it one thing that doesn't make any sense to me though is look at the art modifier 8000 true art 44k that is such a large discrepancy usually the art multiplier isn't that far behind from the true art i mean sometimes it is right but not all the time like for example we look at harto's harto's 11,000, 36k you know Okay, what about Miranda's? 14K art, 35K true art, you see what I mean? But hers is 8,000 and then 44,000. That's crazy. Okay, he broke the shield again, so this could be some big damage here if we get her true art off again, which we might be able to. Let's pop Mako's art here, and let's see. Okay, she's stuck in her attack animation, so hopefully she can get an attack off before she starts going into her iframes again. Come on, come on, do the slam. Oh! Okay, that was some damage. Every time she does the slam attack, it hits extremely hard. That's the thing. It takes so long for the slam attack to come out on the final part of her true art. So sometimes you just don't even get it. Please don't tell me Miranda out damaged you. Tell me you did. This looks really bad because we actually are getting a newer magic nuker slash damage dealer. Uh, what is it? Tomorrow, I think when Volti comes out and I'm just thinking like Volti's damage potential compared to Ritz's and it's like, I would assume Ritz would be hitting harder. I'm just not on this magic damage train. I'm with the physical damage hype train at the moment and I just love using physical damage dealers. Used to back in the day, I feel like magic damage dealers were some of the best damage dealers in the game because they just did so much work. But now my opinion is shifting and and a lot of these magic damage dealers just kind of seem very eh. I think if I take away my bias though, she is a good attacker if you have no one else. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for coming out. It's been your bro P. And last but not least, don't forget to drink water.